Okay, so we'll see if this actually loads for once. I'm willing to bet it's going to load in a funny window, and then we're going to have to do some jiggery pokery to get it to work, unless NVIDIA Games Works jumps to go. go. Yep, there we go. Apparently, there'll be bug fixes later on down the line, and in fairness, this isn't as, isn't as bad as it could otherwise be. Now we just have to wait for an ability to actually skip this, and then hopefully we can move it without breaking the game. Nope. Yes, there we go. Right, continue. The locals were none too happy to see go. us here. <clears throat> no, that's not right. Like after the war, there we go. they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. But with the aid from a woman called Katya, the cultists have been keeping imprisoned here. I managed to give them the slip. Luckily, I was able to avoid excessive casualties in the process. Katya mentioned an engineer called Crest, who's hiding from the cultists in the port. He could help us fix the Aurora and cross the bridge. Now seems to be a good time to pay him a visit. Oh, that's interesting. I managed to give them the slip. Luckily, I was able to avoid excessive casualties in the process. That's it. To anyone who wasn't here, that's because when I escaped the church, apart from two blokes that I shot, which, interestingly enough, caused everyone to surrender, I just mainly stealthed it and knocked them all out. So I think the game, and I have no official confirmation of this, is tracking part of the morality system over how many people I slaughter. In which case, a pacifist run of the game might work quite well. I've also remembered I'm completely out of chem fluids, so if I run out of med kits, I'm so... Well, I've got five of them, that should be okay. Right, next port of call is this tape recording, which mentions something about a stash of chems. Also, I got a compass, so I'm wondering, is there a checkpoint system? And if there is, can I... oh... Oh! Nope, that didn't do it. Right, they mentioned train there. No, okay. I was hoping that... no, that just turns me. I was hoping that I might be able to use it as a waypoint. I'm guessing not. But it does look like it's marked something on the map. So first, I'm going to exit that. I am going to quick save, for reasons that will become apparent in a minute. Because also last time, if it's still here, I noticed, which led me to this place in the first place, a spark thing. Oh. That's annoying. Basically, there was sort of an electric glowy bulb thing flying around this area. Now, to anyone who's ever played the other Metro games, that looked very much like an entity that 
Well, it was basically there were creatures called the Dark Ones. And when they die, if I'm remembering the lore correctly, they leave this sort of entity around. It's electric, it's electric, it'll probably electrocute me on spot, but it seems like it's gone. So, did it lead me here for a reason, or is it a time release thing, I wonder? Huh. Right. That looks like the, is that the shack I was just in? Yes, it was. Hmm. That, I'm guessing, is leading me towards the port, so we don't want to go there just yet. They mentioned something about a lot of chems. I need chems. Not the fallout kind. The chemical kind. Because for that, I need that to tidy the guns and to sort out med kits and air filters. Not that I need many air filters, which is a blessing as far as I'm concerned in this game. Hello, what do we have here? Bump. That looks like a bunker of some kind. That I can't get into. Hmm. And that looks like the big house they mentioned. There must be an entrance into this place somewhere. Or am I being a dingus? Hmm. Oh, hold on. Derelict buildings. Map. Yeah, so that's pointing somewhere over here. That was a noise. And that's my Geiger counter going off. Oh, hello. Oh, right. Choking to death. Not a good thing. <laughs> Will you just... That took an entire clip. Oh, hello. Gordon Bennett. What are... Ow. And I'm dead. Goody. Reload. Hmm. Okay then. That ended well, didn't it? I forgot, I'm on hardcore difficulty. Right, I'm going to have to be a bit more careful now. Either that or I wait till daylight and hope that they disappear. No, I'm heading in the wrong direction already. Marvellous. Do, 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 do. Can we see any enemies? No, okay. Am I still heading in the right direction? No. Hmm. Nope, no door. I'm paranoid now. Well, I was already paranoid, but... Now I'm doubly paranoid. I hear noises. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh! E 
Oh, nuts. Where are they? At least my gas mask isn't damaged. I'm starting to think that the warning is actually because that's a very hazardous area <laughs> and not that's where the chems are. Oh, okay, I'm still in the... That's actually quite an interesting effect, really. I mean, it's crippled my health, but an interesting effect all the same. Okay, so, shocking no one apart from maybe me, the little radiation symbol is actually an indication that it's a highly radioactive area. Who knew? So, next is to try and figure out where these chems that he mentioned are. And there's a big house and what looks like a railway station. Is there any sort of entrancey doodad down here? Uh No, just another enemy. Now a dead enemy. Oh, the amount of ammo those guys take. It wasn't even like I wasn't shooting for their head. Okay. So that's a fairly modern TV screen. I can sleep until daylight, that's empty. I uh, know what. Let's try using the time mechanic here. Um, oh, daylight. Oh, there we go. That'll help me out. At least I can see where I'm going now. Right, let's play that. Oh, no. Oh. Well, let me listen to it again. Come on. Dang, nab it. Right, okay. What's that? Something mo. Hmm. Get to the port. No. Okay, that's me. Oh, the train is the Aurora boy. Oh, so they don't actually help me out with that. That's understandable, but slightly annoying all the same. Well. Place is full of chems. Hmm? Oh, that's just a bird. Sort of a weather station. Radio transmitter, those are shrimp. That well, looks like an abandoned place over there, so we can always give that a shot. This is where I'm jumped by something, isn't it? Oh, for the love of I need the boat. There is also that thing over there. That appears to be my destination. Don't want to go there just yet. Hmm. I need these chems though. Aha! 
there was a door. Uh, uh, there's a skull and crossbones there. Oh, what am I about to get myself into, chat? Um, nothing. It seems I can't actually... How the... Can't open the doors. What's that? Looks like a American flag. What? Oh. Okay, there's full damage in this game. Good to know. Well, shooting it does not work. Right, well, if that's locked, maybe there's an entrance some... Oh, come on! Oh, and I'm dead again. Gah! Ugh, thank goodness I didn't play this on Ranger Hardcore. Okay. Hmm. I get the feeling I'm going to spend a lot of time dying in this game. No, going loud. I think they're dead. Oh, no. Shotgun. Oh! Ow. Oh, that's right. I can't aim down sight. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, I'm alive? Unfortunately, it howled, which makes me think that more might be on the way. Let's just quickly reload. And in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have shot that one in the head. But hey, at least I know that the stealth sniper rifle works and that the AI is now intelligent enough to know when a friendly has been hit. In the past, I shoot them and they usually don't cur. Or maybe I was just much more careful than I have been right now. In other news, I still can't find my way into this bunker. Hello? Oh, oh, fair enough, I thought you'd been executed or something. <coughs> like that. Okay. Oh, okay, you can set yourself on fire. Good to know. <laughs> or I might have known that already. Uh, oh. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm still at a loss. Uh, 
there seems to be only one entrance into that bunker. And it's behind those sealed doors. Oh. More enemies on the prowl. Can I re-listen to that radio? No. Last. Is there a secret switch in here or something that allows me to get in there? I mean, chances are it's a no, but you never know. <laughs> they might decide to have given me a... There's no secret switch, is there? Um... <clears throat> Hints. Anything? If you're lost or forget uh, your current mission, mission is, produce your map, the compass will point to the correct direction while the notes in your pad on the back side of the map remind you of your immediate goals. An icon appearing on the top left corner of the screen signifies your mission goals or map were updated. Weapon cleaning, weapon modification, gag counter, Spartan suit. Mastering combat. Different weapons fit diff to different tactical conditions. Bear shotguns are extremely effective against mutants at short range, while automatic rifles excel at humans at medium range. The sniper rifles are dealed for long range engagements, while pistols can be modified for almost any style of engagement. It's good practice to carry different kinds of ammo. The, this would allow you to win a prolonged firefight against humans and fight off large packs of mutants. Marvelous. Pneumatic with, uh, weapons, uh, efficiency of a pneumatic weapon is dependent on the pressure of air in the bottle. You're just wasting ammo if said pressure is too low. At the same time, by overpressurizing the weapon, you can temporarily improve its range and power. You can check the pressure of pneumatic weapons air bottles using the gauge on its stocks. Okay. Um. Ah. So if I check this now. Okay, so that's its normal pressure, and then if I pump it up, it's going to be overpressurized and much more powerful and quite useful as a sniper rifle. Hmm. Oh yeah, they've changed it to that. Can I just set these trees on fire? <laughs> no? Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Nope. No. Oh! Full damage. Forgot about that. Hmm. I don't want to give up on those chems. But I'm getting the feeling I might have to for the moment. That's really annoying. Okay, where's my boat? Boats. Over there. He mentioned something about a big house over a canal. Or channel. So oh, surely a big house I'm going to easily be able to spot. Then again. I'm going to run into another pack of mutants in a minute, aren't I? Right, there's the Aurora.
There's a big house. Or is it a factory? I can hear enemies. Oh, son of a... Uh-oh. I may have made them angry. Reload. Oh no, I'm nearly out of assault rifle ammo. I'm doomed. I miss my pistol now. Okay. Don't panic. Oh! Oh, holy moly, that made me jump. E e e e e e e e e e e e e on earth was that? A ghoul? I have to worry about ghouls now? Ay 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 So, basically, I'm playing a more terrifying and much better made version out of version of Fallout 76. I mean, I'm traversing a huge post-apocalyptic wasteland. I'm collecting crafting ingredients to make weapons and stuff. And I just shot a ghoul in the face, or at least in the chest. So it looks like it was alone, which is a plus. No, okay. Ooh, what's this? Ooh! Crafting materials. And chems. I wonder if this is the place he was talking about that's full of chems. In which case, I probably completely missed the big house. Or is this the big house? And I'm just confused now. Oh, probably should be much more careful than I am being. Hmm. Hello? Hi. Hello? Oh! Oh. I may have progressed my story mission? 